right, good morning guys. This is the final day here at the sprint track. Uh, welcome back to the channel. We have the same thing as yesterday. Warm up, qualifying, pre-final, final. I did not do a uh, warm up this morning because I learned my lesson. I went and spun it out. Uh, not as bad as what Summer just did. She spun it out, leaving the pitch. So, she won up me this weekend. Uh, you guys will see her later in the podcast. <laughs> Not in the vlog. <laughs> later on the vlog. Uh, yeah, it's pretty epic. But, you know, it's a good to get out of the way early. So, um, all I did for today was uh, flip the front tires. Um, hopefully have a good clean race. Good clean final and uh, try to double up. Doing something like this at this type of level of competition is extremely difficult so we're just gonna give it everything we got and hope for the best that's it so all right guys uh let's get after it so for this qualifying run uh it, it was the whole goal was not to be the first one out because you you want to try to get a toe um it was going to be james and myself working together i look back someone dumped james so i was i was slowing down and then all chaos broke loose I saw James flying to the field. Um, I'm guessing he had to. <laughs> he had a mission. Uh, he was just gonna give everybody a bump and a smack because he he told me after after qualifying. I don't know who spun me, but I was just gonna hit everybody just to make sure everybody got a, got a good uh, good feeling for it. So that was uh, that plan went out the window. So I'm in the very back, and this is where you need to try to time things. Um, sometimes I time them right. Sometimes I don't. I thought about passing uh ron here uh decided to back up and give everybody uh, a pretty decent gap so i can try to pull down a couple fast laps um gave everybody a gap but then i start running on them too quickly so that was hurting me like right here the lap was compromised someone went off track um it was a decent run up but it wasn't really i didn't get a really good start to this lap so I was going to keep pushing and then try to get back on Wrong's bumper, uh, but then I couldn't get around the 8 quick enough, so uh, this lap was basically a waste as well. So at this point in time, I haven't gotten any good fast laps in. Um, I wasn't able to make any quick moves. Um, I really didn't want to try to force the issue. I actually thought about maybe falling back one more time, but then I didn't want to fall back too far, so I thought about making a move on the double right. He opens the door. I put it in, uh, he comes back across, I hook his uh, uh, right rear tire, um, then I he, he loses it, he he looks down the tire, maybe he thought he had something on it, then he sees back, lets me go, uh, and then right here is the only good lap I get, uh, Ron's actually far enough forward that I might be able to close him down and maybe get a toe towards the end, uh, so I was, you know, hauling the mail, pushing as hard as I could just to try to catch up to him. I knew this was going to be my only good lap. Uh, I had only gone a 48-2 at this point, and I knew that was going to be nowhere near the top half of the field. Uh, so I was just pushing as hard as I could uh, to try to catch Ron and then maybe try to get a toe down those two straightaways. If you get a toe down the two straightaways, that's worth a couple tenths. So timing it right is always the hard part. Our cart was coming alive. Um, it was just about positioning yourself for qualifying and I did not do a good job of it at all. Uh, down the straightaway, you see me move to the right to get a good toe. Um, he makes a move. I try to get another good toe to the start finish line. Overall, I am ecstatic with P3. I did not expect that at all in qualifying after the debacle at the beginning. P3 starting in the final, just the same as yesterday. Uh, the outside line actually gets a really good run. Um, the 484. Uh, did put on new tires for today. He did take pole, crushed it. Good job to him. Uh, I just did not want to get shuffled back too far in the pack. I should get a really good run, uh, but Jamie on the inside gets a better run on me. And then I just want to move up as quickly as possible uh, and move forward. So my job, my my thought process was I, I'm really good when the tires haven't come in yet. Um, so I'm going to push as hard as I can. Uh, to try to get up back on the 484's rear back bumper and try to hang with him until his tires start falling off. So that was the whole goal. Sometimes the plans don't work out as possible. Uh, I get a really good run coming up here. I go directly on the inside. 
of Jamie. I did not want to be behind him. I wanted to be the one behind um, the 484. And then coming into this corner up here, I see James out of nowhere at the corner of my eye, driving in deep. I get plenty of space, but he overshoots the corner, hooks my bumper. And at this point in time, I'm not 110% ticked off. I know that I just need to clean my tires off, get a good run up. I know I had tons of speed to race myself back up to uh, to the top five. That was going to be the goal there. Just get back up to the top five. It's just the pre-finals. Don't try to overcook the tires. Just race smartly and move forward. And that's what I did. Every opportunity I got to make a pass. Here I'm on the 880. He runs a little bit wide. I got a good run down the straightaway. I go on the inside. Um, I see basically... Um, four cart battle up ahead it's jamie phil uh dick everybody was up there uh dick waves uh phil by so now i'm going to try to track down phil because i know phil's quick so if i can get on phil's back bumper i'm probably able to push him forward and then make a run towards the front um dick was as well showed up today he had really good pace so getting around him was going to be a little bit difficult um but i had to get around him he made a slight mistake coming out of that last corner uh, gave me a good run down the straightaway. Now I'm on Phil's back bumper. So now my goal is to push Phil around. I saw James and Jamie get into it. So really salvaging of top three was the goal right here. Uh, Phil goes on the inside, and I'm going to shove him forward to get him passed pass by James as well. Uh, James does a good job holding in on the inside, and then Jamie gets me down the straightaway. So now the goal is just to get by James and Jamie. Um, how I do it? It's just got planted out. Uh, Dick as well gets in there. I have to hold him on the outside. Um, I, I hold my inside line as much as I could, but I know I couldn't leave the, uh, the top two away. Uh, and then I had to start pushing again to start reeling uh, them back in. I get a really good run on James on the inside. Um, and then I'm gonna go down the inside, get really tight as I could. Cart washes out a little bit wide. And then I'm able to make that move uh, I'm able to run Jamie down here um, in a couple laps. And then after that, it was just to get by him, maybe get a little slight gap, and then just maintain. Uh, there was no way to run down the leader. The leader had checked out to another zip code at this point in time. And there's no point to uh, really push too hard and uh, run Phil down if, if to try to get second place just because third is just, just as good as the starting position. And you want to try to save as much of his equipment that you can for the final. So just like I did before, I get a really good run out of that last corner. I'm going to shove it back on the inside. I'm going to take away the position. And doing this pass here really slows up the guy on the outside. So I look back. I have a pretty decent gap. So now it's about just maintaining the distance, uh, really not pushing hard. And I was happy to finish third place. So sitting here... And, and just knowing where the car is working well, thinking about what changes I need to do for the next round, if I was gonna do any changes, uh, how the cart felt towards the end. And usually the last lap, I try to do a push lap just to see how much left is in the car or am I, am I just giving, getting everything out of the cart that the car has right now. Uh, the car had plenty left in it, so it was really not, not really pushing, it's just, making sure you have a mindset that what do you need to do for the next round. If the cart feels tight towards the end of the run, you need to think about dropping tire pressure and making some changes. If the cart started off quick but then died off, the cart's too tight. If the cart never came in, it's just things that you need to think about ahead of time. P3, good recovery run, extremely happy with that. All right, pre-finals in the books. It was more of a fight that I wanted to uh, I think lap one or two I don't know yeah it might have been a lap two uh, James came in on the inside hard and uh, I think he thought he cleared me and uh, I was still there I had given him space I backed out of it try to get a good run off the corner but nah ended up in the grass uh, collected all back up uh, thanks to them fighting I was able to cash back up uh, push Phil past I think both James and Jamie and then had a battle out with James and F Jamie and then Phil got away and the leader the leader was in already in another zip code so, so pre-file did not go as planned 
which I never have a plan going in. So, um, finals, we got something. Uh, cart, cart felt really well. Uh, once I saw I had a big gap behind me, there's no point to run it. So it was basically cruise control until the end of the race. Uh, track is gripping up a lot. Uh, I'm not sure if I should make an adjustment or just leave it and send it. Um, I used to think a tire pressure is all it needs, to be honest. Um, tire pressure, drive a little bit smarter, and then uh, definitely have something in there for the finals. Uh, we're all fighting a lot of grip. So if someone figures out how to free up the car enough, we could be in trouble. But I have faith in her. She's going to do good in the finals. She's going to do real good. I hope you speak up a little bit more because the camera's not going to catch okay. anything. I was just talking. I was just talking. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, this is Summer. Uh, she's actually, and I went back and looked. Uh, in the state of Florida, for LO206 senior class, first female to win that championship. Uh, she's also the first female at the regional level for SSKC to win a race. All happened in Homestead. So, you know, women get into a sport, you know, She's quick when she has her head on her shoulders, but when she like freaks out and starts driving like crap, she's slow. <laughs> so how's this weekend been going? Good, good. Uh, learning a lot, but I'm not doing too bad. Yeah. Um, I'm going to qualify top 10. Yeah, uh, I think both days, right? 15, yes, you did. Yeah, so I'm going to qualify top 10. Yeah, I'm going to qualify top 10. 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 I'm going to just got to clean up a little, a little few areas, that's it. Cleans that up, you'll be knocking the back door of the top five. That'd be awesome. Patrick will be super excited and happy. Yep. You guys saw him at the Grands. They came down to the Grands, they hung out. Uh, now they're stepping up, doing more and bigger national events, so venturing out of way, but watch this cart. It's going to be moving up front. Okay. It's going to be a challenge in the senior class for sure. Already is. All right, now here for the final star in P3, right behind the 484. Um, I'm hoping that we get a really good clean start. Then I'm hoping that Phil makes a pass for a lead early and we get the 484 behind him before um, he starts running away with it again. Um, the inside line got a good start this time. I see that uh, there's a little gap uh, behind Phil. So Phil gets in front of me. I let him slide in and I didn't want to fight him too hard. Uh, the whole goal was just to get past the 484. Um, I go back on the inside, and I pull out of it, and I thought to myself, we need a fight. And then Phil decides to just send it in hard on him. Um, and that was basically the best thing that could have happened for me. Uh, I was able to get by Phil, uh, and then the 44 uh, had a little junk on the tires, uh, for, of course, for going a little too wide. Um, he gets a good run, uh, then just I get a better run out of this last corner. And I'm going to go on the inside hard early. I'm going to try to take uh, the race at the very beginning. And then now, once I'm in at the, at the front, I can control the race pace. Uh, before we went on track, the throttle cable was frayed. It was busted. So I was trying to be easy on the throttle. Uh, and I actually had to block a lot during this race. I had to take turn one really tight a lot. I had to take a lot of tighter lines. Um, it was really just trying to survive and maintain because they're on my back bumper the whole time. Now with two laps to go, uh, if I said it was going to break, it was going to break. So I just hammered down as hard as I could to try to pull any kind of gap from them at all. Um, then I might have had like a three or four cart link gap, but they were right there the whole race. Uh, they battled out a little bit again, so that created a little bit of gap. So when I kept looking back, I actually had a little bit of space left. Um, it was not much breathing room. I had to make sure I hit my marks. Uh, at this point in time, I'm not even thinking about the win. I just want to make sure I survive and make it to the end because it's unbelievable to win it once, but thinking about winning it twice is incredible. Um, I get a good run out of this last corner. The white flag's up in the air. Uh, I look back again to check my shoulder. I see that nobody's close enough back there. Uh, I still want to protect the inside line. I did not want anybody to you know, shoot up on the inside. I still got a good run out. 
Um, at this point in time, I it's just hitting my marks, making sure they cannot get by me, covering off any passing zone opportunities, and really is about to be a dream come true. Uh, so many people to thank, uh, Smoker Performance, MGM Chassis and Podium Products, CR Graphics, um, my parents, my wife, uh, the list goes on forever and a day. There's just too much people to thank. And if you know who they are, you are. I have to put a slight block at the bottom. Um, and I can't believe I, I haven't won Daytona once. And winning it back to back on the same weekend is unbelievable. Uh, I can't believe that all this hard work is paid off. Cart was on fire. Didn't touch a thing. Everything was amazing. Love it. Thanks for watching.